the 2007 Solstice GXP. Let's print some parts. What's going on gearhead? So today what we're going to do is we're going to add an extension onto the purge tank overflow. Super easy procedure. What I noticed was the GM tank itself, the overflow tube stops right here. And what it's doing is it actually spraying hot coolant when it does overflow with the excess onto all the braking components here. So I've got some fuel line here and some clamps and then I 3D printed some barb adapters. So I'm gonna show you how to put these on and we're gonna take that tube and we're gonna put it all the way down to the bottom of the car so that it sprays on the ground and not all over the components. What it's doing is it's removing the paint over time and it's gonna start tearing it up. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've 3D printed a adapter here that actually fits the uh, purge tank overflow. And we've got our fuel line here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and hook this on here. Now I ended up getting about five feet of this stuff here so that I could actually extend it down even further. And surprisingly, it was pretty cheap. So, and then for your hose clamp, put that on right there. And it's not important to face this one towards you because you're probably not going to be working on it. So, got our 3D printed barb adapter here, got our hose clamp, we got our three quarter inch fuel line here. So, let's go ahead and measure it down to the floor on the ground, see how much we need to cut, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, attach it on over here. All right, so let's go ahead and fish our line down to the bottom of the car and get this nice and low to a point where you can actually feed that excess coolant out that does come out. Well, air and coolant, right? Because these things do burp. So here's the 3D adapter or 3D printed adapter, the barb adapter. And you're probably wondering, well, this thing's going to melt. Well, I printed it with high temp ABS, so it's actually rated up to about 450 degrees. If your coolant coming out of your car is more than 450 degrees, you've got a serious problem. So you're going to take this in here, and you're going to put it right onto the GM one. Oh, let's not forget that there. All right, so we're done here. Just push it till it stops. We're going to tighten that clamp up right there. And make sure you get it nice and tight so you don't lose it coming down the road. So there we are. It's all done, connected. It's not longer going to spray coolant all over your wee well and all your uh, brake components there. I've also got the file available. If you do have a 3D printer, I can actually send that to you. So just let me know. All right, gearheads, well, let me know your thoughts on this uh, little DIY here. Curious to see if anybody else is having this problem down here. Seems all the tanks, the GM one, even the aftermarket ones, all have this little connector here for the overflow, and that's it. I haven't seen anything else that there should be anything between here and the ground. So uh, let me know if you guys have done some other DIY stuff. I'm interested. Thanks for watching.